Hello there everyone and welcome to our new Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 2016. So let's hop right in, let's start ourselves a new company. This is my little test account here that I've been working on to make sure everything works and figuring out how to play. We're gonna name it iVision Transit. It was already I already filled it in. So that's why it's already there. It does not come filled in, but that's what I've named it. iVision Transit's good. We're gonna call ourselves. So let's hop right in, see what's going on here. Bus Simulator 2016. Uh, this is a little, it's different than OMSI, if you guys are familiar with the OMSI series. Uh, but they're both kind of very different games. Uh, I will say this game is more of like just anyone can just kind of hop in and play, where OMSI is a lot more advanced. And it's not really in English as well, so it kind of doesn't help me because I can't speak German. The other thing is, too, it does offer steering wheel support on this game. Uh, there is also controller support as well but it's not that great and I'll show you why in a little bit here once we hop in. I do have the latest update running on this game and it's supposed to make these load times faster but I don't for some reason today it's been really really slow. So not really sure what's going on with that. It almost seems like it's frozen now which is not good. Not good at all. So there she is <clears throat> loading in. All right, that took a while, but the update was supposed to fix the load times for that and then like a couple other little things. I mean, nothing too major, but the load times is one of the things that was supposed to be in, oh, supposed to like pick up the pace there, but they kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, it took a little bit there. So we're going to hop in and play the tutorial here. Let's see what's going on. As you can see, welcome to Sunny Springs, a functional local traffic system is the center of every city. As it happens, you recently acquired a small bus company. Congratulations. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to play the game as well as how to perform many of the typical duties you'll encounter as a bus driver. Ben, an experienced bus driver, will give you useful tips and tricks for driving your bus and establishing your bus company. The residents of Sunny Springs want to know, do you have what it takes to become the most successful bus entrepreneur of all time? I'll tell you what, we will be the best and most successful. Hey, over here. So this is Sunny Springs here. A uh, little bit different. You can actually walk around a little bit, which is really kind of cool. You can see all the traffic. Not really sure how far we can walk. I guess we can take a little journey here and see how far it'll actually let us go. Not really, I haven't really kind of ventured too far. I don't really know. It's kind of cool though, the graffiti. All oh, the cars here, nice. This little sports car dude. Nice, nice. We're gonna Mayor Market. Mayor Market. Yeah. Looks like an empty building. Nobody's inside. Ooh, here's the, here's the funny thing. You can push these people around. Look at this. Get out of my way, dude. Just pushing them, pushing them. Get into the wall. Get into the wall. Ah. Alright, so so that's that. Alright, you can switch uh, views too, like first person, third person, you know. First person and third person view. We're not going to. We're going to walk even says not to. We're going to be like the normal everyday people. But that's kind of cool that they actually stop. But let's uh, let's get into the game part here and uh, drive some bus. Check out this guy over here. My name is Ben. We talked on the phone. Nice to finally meet you. You're pretty punctual. I like that. Oh, check out that ride. Check I'm out that glad ride. you decided to buy the company. I'm pretty much ready to retire, you know. Spend more time with my old lady. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Your old lady. Here we are. What a beauty. So let's try it out before I hand you the keys. Look at our Why bus. Don't you open the doors so we can get in. This is our bus. Uh, there's like six or seven buses I think in the game uh, it does offer mod support as well but I don't think there are any mods out at this time hello there sir and this is good old Ben hello Ben all right let's uh, open the door here take a seat don't mind me this baby is yours now all right so we'll enter the now, cockpit let's hear her purr. all right let's start her up and um uh, you gotta turn it nice. three times. Oh man, I'll definitely miss that sound. Before yes, we you go, will. turn on your lights. See and be seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really a Fortnite. All right, so your light switch is over here. Um, I also have them linked on the controller, but I'm not. I can't remember which ones they are. And then we'll turn on the cashier light, which is over here. Or excuse me, whoops. Uh, the that was the cashier light, the cockpit light, and then the uh, main passenger cabin light on if you hit the C button you can walk around you can see all that so I'll actually turn off the if you hit C again it puts you right in 
I'll turn off the uh, passenger light and you guys can see that that light back there is now off so that is that so that's kind of cool it actually all works as it's supposed to so we got everything back in let's close the doors you can do it manually or I also have it linked on the uh, controller just makes things a lot easier uh, I will say this though the uh, like moving around it's gonna get a little jumpy like this at times because the just the controls are just really weird for the camera on this so let's release the parking brake uh, parking brake where are you at there you are and we're ready to go we don't actually use the parking brake we use another brake here as you can see that one which is called the uh, what is that called uh, the bus stop brakes that's what that is so that's what we use on our journey. So, and you can see, let's scroll the wheel, get the different view. You can also, uh, I have it linked on the controller also, the type of a button I can hop in and out. But let's get this bus rolling, huh? Let's, uh, let's put it in drive. It is automatic, there is no manual options, so you have to deal with that. So let's get cruising. If you it's a lot harder. ready for a real run, let's head towards the exit. Yeah, we are. Oh, we're just going to cross the street here, apparently. You can't really turn your head either out that window, which really sucks. Time to pick up our first passengers. I have a route prepared for you. You can use the GPS over here to guide yourself. Oh, we don't want to turn. All right, so we're on our way. This is our bus with this guy. Looks like, uh, looks like Ben here got bored on one day on a route and uh, drew a little picture for himself. But the uh, everything works in this bus. Everything has options to touch and move and change. Uh, besides, windows don't open, so that's one difference. But you can change the temperature controls down here, as you can see. Radio. I don't know if the radio works. I heard it does. I haven't really tried that. And then obviously the change dispenser and all that okay. also works. The first bus stop is coming up. Try parking as close to the sidewalk as possible and right in the middle of the stop. Passengers just love that. Oh. Don't forget to put the right turn signal on. Yeah, it's really weird. They use the right turn signal and you don't put your flashers on. It's really weird. Break. Put the now brake on. Let's kneel the bus. And we'll open both doors. And open the doors. Hello. 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 Now Hello. Take off. It's the same process, but in reverse. All right, let's close, close the, doors. the doors. Deactivate kneeling. Disengage the frequency. Let me give you a piece of advice. And bend like that. And I commuters can pull love out a here. driver who's always on time. And drivers love happy commuters. So try to reach each bus stop in time. Yeah, we will try. See what I'm saying? Like, because of the steering wheel here for the controller, at least. And I don't know if it's the same for the steering wheel. I don't think it is. I think the steering wheel has some sort of interesting control. Is the fact that when I turn the joystick, it automatically brings the uh, steering wheel position back to center. So it's kind of annoying, and I couldn't find anywhere to disable it in the settings menu either. So just kind of be prepared if you are using a gamepad or a controller to to be mindful of that. Like I guess I'm not sure on the steering wheel if it's the same. I don't think it is, but I can't confirm that for sure. And we'll just oh. Or slow down here. So it kind of does make things a little bit choppy and crazy to drive, but not the worst situation. It could be worse. Uh, that we are based in Germany, I believe. That's where we are at Germany or Europe. So there is no turn turning right on red. So we get a stop sign or not a stop sign, but a stoplight. We can't turn red on the light, unlike our American Truck Simulator series where we can do that. Now let's stop, engage the brakes, heal the bus, open the doors. Hello. Oh, gotta let the people out there. Looks like everybody's out. Please take a seat. Nice, nice. Anyone else? Oh, looks like everybody. So let's close the doors and heal the bus. Hey. Turn our directional like on. A really nice person. This business needs more people like you and me. Come on, buddy. Nice people. And man, it can get to be very rewarding. Yes. This one time I was driving the bus through the city. It was an early shift and some kids were trying to get to school. Suddenly I pass out. I don't know what happened. 
But I'm pretty lucky those kids were riding with me that day. They reacted pretty quickly. One of them just took the wheel, turned off the ignition, and guided the bus until it stopped rolling. Well, that was nice of those kids. Kid noticed I wasn't breathing. He quickly called the ambulance and tried performing CPR. It was all over the news. If you know, it wasn't for those kids, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be retiring. If I was their dad, I would be really proud. Life, man, you never know. What a great lesson it taught us. Great lesson. You know, it's so true though. Like it does happen where you know a bus driver or anyone type of transit situation could you know, have a medical emergency at any time so it's actually really nice when people step up and take care of that how about so let's just keep cruising along here we do speed a lot in this game there are speed cameras but I've never uh, never been ticketed you know you don't have that much time to speed that much you're always constantly stopping at stops hello yeah, we got really close to the curb this time. Wow. And I always park by this pole here. These poles are in the worst spot. Because I always line up with the uh, thing. Alright. Nice. No one's, uh... No one's needs any pay here. Alright, let's close uh -oh. the doors. Looks like a door got stuck. Alright. Sometimes. Don't worry. For an old bus like this, it's normal. Get out. You'll All have right. to leave the seat and go to the door. We gotta Try unlock it. it up. Then we gotta hit the unjam door button. And then we relock it. Now just get back and let's keep rolling. And get in. Remember, I don't know if you have to unlock you it like that. Never drive though. with the bus doors open. It's very dangerous. I was when I first saw people play this, they they said they have to re -lock, unlock that door and then relock it after you unjam it. So that's why I do it. We were late on that last stop, so hopefully we can make up some time. We haven't really uh, had to pay for, have any customers paying. Well, we're getting kind of close to that lane there, huh? Maybe not. We're fine. We're fine. We'll slow down here a little bit. Got our lights on this guy. Vroom, vroom. That ding that you heard in that, like, kind of right in the middle, that icon in the middle of the dash there, that's the... Uh, like that says that someone asked you to stop at the next stop, but you basically you stop at every stop on your route in this game. It's not like Omsi where if no one hits that button, and there's no one at that stop, then you can just drive by. You basically are stopping at every stop on the, on your route in this game. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Or not. I mean, it kind of it adds to delays, and then traffic obviously adds to delays here as well. It should be... Get through this light here is nice if traffic would pick up the pace here but you can see our speedometer down there we're doing about 30 right now 35 kind of getting up there in speed just cruising and we're coming up to another stop so that's nice and you can see there's people obviously waiting there for us we'll pull up to the uh the first one here We'll put the brake on, we'll kneel the bus and open them doors. But yeah, they're in the back. The people in the back always auto pay. Not sure. That's just how it's set up. So Good hello. morning. You need a ticket? One oh, moment, please. She needs a Look, ticket. A passenger needs to purchase a ticket. Oh, you sit will back have down. to operate the ticket printer and the cash register. Here we go. One student, one trip. Oh hi. A ticket, please. And finish with I'm getting you one. Just tap on Five dollars. Make sure to give the exact. So there's two, four, and five. There you go, ma'am. Awesome. You are a natural at this. Oh, uh, you Let's need one. One regular, one trip. One Out of ten. Regular. All right. There's three, five, seven, nine, and ten. Now, if you you do give the wrong change back, the, the people just take it in on you, and they just take it and run. It's really weird. It, it actually doesn't ding you though. The game doesn't ding you at all for for that. So <sighs> what a beautiful city. Not really sure why it's kind of like well, what's the point then if you give them extra extra change? But they don't ding you for it, so you kind of keep that in mind, I guess. But we're cruising around. We gotta turn left here, but we got a light, red light. Well, it gives us some time to check out the uh, traffic. 
It's not a bad looking game. It's decent. I mean, that's a nice car. We'll say the cars are nice in this game as well. Controls being able to operate a lot of this stuff is really cool. And we got a stop request, which is nice. That was that thing. The only thing I don't like is I can't see the uh, lights. We should probably stay farther back. But then we get traffic behind us honking at us for whatever reason. And you do have to watch out. There are emergency vehicles in this game that come through. You're supposed to kind of pull off to the side. But sometimes they just do their own thing. And they tend to hit you. And then you get dinged for it. So kind of... It sucks in that sense. But the whole point is you do the route. And you... So this guy's gonna let me go. So you do the route, and then it assigns you like a grade, and then how much income you made. And you can go back and redo that route at any point in time in the game if you don't feel comfortable with the score you got, or if you know you can do better, you can go back and do that. A word of advice. Always kneel the bus before you open the doors. Passengers will thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I did it backwards. I opened the doors, then kneeled the bus, but it's still got the well nut. Oh. For the passenger thing. needs a ticket. All Can right. Me a normal pass for the rest Look at of this. Thirty-three dollars for a week pass. That's outrageous. All right, it's thirty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, and fifty. There you go. Thank you, dear. No problem. All good. There are handicapped people in this game as well, so you have to go in the back and open up the door for them. You know, for me, the uh, best part of this job actually, we is don't just need to driving turn. down the street, meeting all these interesting people. It's fantastic. So you know what's crazy about this this stop here? But boy, let me tell you, this job is a feat of patience. There are people, and then there are people. Yeah, yeah, there are people. But you just go out oh, there, come on, do ben. your job, and always keep a smile on your face. That's your best tool in this career, believe me. Alright, so apparently in this lane, though, it's white. If you're in this lane, you actually go straight into the other lane, and the lane next to us is actually a turn left lane. It's really weird, I saw that. Because I always thought, like, okay, you're in this lane, you're turning right, but apparently not in this game. So I don't know if that's how it is all over or what, so. I'm just kind of waiting. Alright, we got the green, it looks like. The other cars are moving. And see, yeah, they turn, and then the traffic behind us follows us. This is so weird how oh, that works. I don't know if that's just the way it is over there or what. Alright. Yes, all your belongings, folks. I do like that. It tells out the stop name. It tells you to take off your... You know, make sure you take all your belongings. So that's really cool. I do like that. And those fuel prices are pretty cheap. 1.24 for... I'm guessing it's per liter, though. So I don't know if that's really cheap compared to the gallon. In America we pay for the gallon. I would imagine that because everything's in liters over seas there that it's in liters. We're just gonna kinda wait here. I don't wanna get into that uh, into the zone until all this traffic clears. Not really sure if it'll make a difference but maybe it would. Heal the bus and that's it. Let's watch all these people get off. Thanks for riding with us. And that is everybody. That was beautiful. That's a nice little short run here, I think. What are we waiting for, Ben? Anything? I don't know if we're waiting for anything or not. Oh, we gotta drive. That's what it is. We're driving off again. That's why I was like, what are we waiting here for, Ben? But apparently there's more on the GPS route, so... See, now what we got to do, because I can't see the light, I actually got to, if you look across the street there on the left, it's the walk, don't walk signal. So basically that's what I use to determine if we got the green or not, because I can't see that light because I always pull up to the line here, but checking out the neighborhood. Uh, people do run out in front of your bus, so be careful. If you do that, it's an automatic failure. Okay, let's head to the bus depot and end our ride. Well, why didn't you say that before, Ben? Ben's a good old boy, though. Good old boy. That's what Ben is. Let's get cruising here. Doo doo, doo doo, 
All these signs. We don't have 70. What the bustle? We're not even at 50 yet. Not even at. 50. We gotta make a right hand turn here. So we'll do that. And let's. We're gonna hit the curb. Oh yeah. Little curb action. That's so cool. Uh, uh, like the physics of the game will allow you to. Like, that. They show you that. They understand. Like, there it is. Just park over there. Oh yeah, that green light. I see it. All right, let's hop into the station here. All right, let's pull up. All right, let's engage the uh, the parking brake here. And let's turn off the engine. Actually, didn't. there it is. Engine off, let's turn off the headlights. Passenger lights, cashier, cockpit. And well vehicle lights. Now, over there is the office. Your office now. Where? I don't see it. I'm gonna have to get off the bus, Ben. Oh, that was that. Okay. So that was the tutorial mission, guys. Hey, ben speaking. I'm calling because I thought my experience would be really helpful for your new company. Yes, it would. So let's get started. Right now, the city is in dire need of more public transportation. So many people, so few buses. The mayor is giving incentives to new companies that are willing to work with City Hall. Just follow the requirements that you see in this list and they will provide you with a new bus for the company. Isn't that great? That's awesome. Anyways, now you know what to do. I'll call back when I have more advice for you. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Oh, hmm. right, almost forgot. I sent you some notes on how to customize your buses. See you later. Awesome, we got some customization we can do. So that was the tutorial mission, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this game. And come back next time when we take our first route by ourselves. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time.